using acrylics, paint the cockpit, just basic, then put a wash over it. And then what we can do is we can start probably building it properly and getting it ready for some primer. Here I've used blue tack just as a masking, a cheap way of doing it, and Tamiya masking over the canopies. Um, there's bits of foam and also bits of blue tack in there. So the brass thread had gone in the airbrush, so I had to sort of rebuild it. I'll put a link in the description for the review I made of this paint. Uh, here I'm using some acrylics from the set and I've thinned them down with um, obviously thinner. Um, so I want to make them as diluted as possible so the pre-shade can sort of show through. If you just use the paint straight from the bottle, um, even though they're quite thin, um, it, it does tend to block out any of the previous sort of pre-shade. This didn't turn out that well. Um, basically, you're just trying to sort of lighten the colour of the brown. But have, have a go, see if you like the uh, the technique. Rolling with the card will make it uniform along the length of the actual blue tack and will make it easier to sort of put down. Here you can see I'm looking at the instructions to get a rough idea of to where I need to place it on the build. One of the things that I always tend to do wrong in these instances is I haven't painted enough brown. So you do get patches and you'll see it a little bit later on where I've done that and now I've got over it.
found at this point, looking at the footage, you can't really tell where I've painted it green that well. Um, but it is there. You, when you have, when I have the reveal, when I take off the masking, it, it is obvious. But I don't know if it was the lighting or, or, or what. I don't know. Um, but I promise, it is green. <laughs> So you can see the bits of areas where I haven't painted enough brown. Really, I should just paint the whole model brown, but I always want to be clever with the pre-shade. Um, this turned out quite well when I reveal this little bit. So the underside, you just need to mask up for the lines between that and the camo and just to make sure you don't get any sort of overspray. Here's the paint I'm going to use. It's from the same set as I talked about before. And again, I'm diluting it down so the pre-shade will come through. This is very similar to the effect I got when I made the F14 Tomcat. Uh, go check that video, I'll put a link in the description. So I've masked off for the yellow tips, um, it didn't go that well though, even though I tried really hard and I ended up having to repaint a little bit of it. Here I'm going to paint the cone uh, white, so again I've got some more masking and then I moved on to doing the pilots that are super glued onto cork and I've sprayed them with FX18 and then just browns, yellows and beiges really for the pilots.
with a scalpel you might need to score along the panel lines into the decal and then put some more softener on. Got some advice on oil weathering from Worn Torn Modeling on Instagram. Go check his page out and some of his work. He concentrates a lot on Vietnam stuff. He's really, really good. So check it out. I'll try and put a link in my description. You can probably see a little bit of overspray from the uh, sky colour underneath. I'm, I'm trying to sort of hide a little bit with some of these oils. Then I'm just repeating the uh, same approach underneath with the panel wash and then I will be looking to try and do some oil streaks. So I'm just using enamel thinners here just to um, manipulate the wash and then I'm just dry brushing 
the um, guns again because I didn't think the pigment had stuck. It, it wasn't great. It was a bit too shiny. So this is just some basic packing foam and I've just cut it um, to a point and then just used it to chip. Just looking for places that would open, that would slide, that would get a lot of abuse, the walkways I, I had a go at. And then I've had a go at the propellers with a little bit of Iraqi sand. So if you painted a canopy in acrylics, you can get an ordinary just piece of plastic 
and just sharpen it up, point it up with a scalpel and you can use it to scrape any bits of paint off to get a nice straight uh, line. I wasn't very happy with the green colour of this sliding canopy, so I repainted it um, Humbrol number 30. It, it stood out from the existing green, but it's a bit of contrast. You can see from that, it just doesn't look right, so uh, I had to change it. So then it's time to add the pilots and the gunner and put the canopy properly together for the rear turret which I've done now, I've just super glued them in. They're fitted quite well. So can I say thanks for watching. Here's a load of photographs. I really enjoyed building this. It's a cheap kit from Airfix. I would recommend it. It's a nice little build. And the main thing is go and enjoy your hobby. Cheers.